Hi guys, we are finally back. So it is now spring term and I'm going to lab right now and it is freezing outside. So this morning I have lab literally from eight to 12. So I brought snacks, I brought coffee. This is for acute care. So acute care is primarily for the hospital setting and I could see me in the hospital setting in the future. So I really love this lab, but we are running late so we gotta go. Guys, I said I was late. It's 7.37, I don't have to be here until eight. And there is no one else in this parking lot with me from my class. All right, time to go to lab. Kylie's here. <laughs> I think that's exactly <sighs> Alright guys, we just got out of lab. It is currently 12 and we're we have a practical next week and we're really worried about it because we forget a lot of stuff. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll do good, we'll get A's. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> but it's really nice outside and I'm gonna do something fun, I don't know yet. But there's Bye guys. Oh my gosh guys. It is so freaking nice outside. It is 61 degrees right now. It is 1217. I have class again at one. Lab went really well. So we learned we have a practical next week, which is on transfers and gate. And gate is walking. And so this is gonna be like with people that have different types of precautions in the acute care setting. So this is gonna be hospital setting. And so for example, a, pa a patient who just had a hip replacement, like with the posterior technique or the posterior precautions. So they they can't flex their hip past 90, they can't internally rotate and um, adduct their leg. So you have to treat these patients differently than someone that just ha like had a fracture on their tibia that's flat foot weight bearing. So like all these patients are gonna be treated differently and it's our job to know how to handle that and what to do, where to put the chair, how to get them up from the bed, and how to not break their precautions. There's a lot of thought that goes into it and I, when I get nervous, my logical thought goes out the window. So I know I'm gonna to have to practice that stuff a lot, but I went to lab yesterday with Kylie and I'm going tomorrow with Kylie. I'll bring you guys tomorrow and show you what we do when we practice. But yeah, so for right now I'm gonna eat and then go inside and yeah, then we are good. It was back in the time, yeah, back in the time when you and I were something. It was back in the time, oh yeah. You know that I tried, yeah, I really tried. Oh, you gave me that feeling. Holy crap, guys, yeah. I'm so excited. So I have officially been going to the gym consistently at least three times a week for a month now with my best friend, Gabby. I hope she's watching this, but I love you if you are. And we got a variety pack of this brand's pre-workout. It's called Bucked Up. There's their like little logo. Oh, and I'm so excited. And it came with a blender bottle. It like is nice. And there was like different colors you could pick, but I just like black and white. And then it has like a thing. I am so excited to try this. All right, guys, my short break is over sadly but so i have a couple things i need to do today i have a soap note i need to write for basic eval which is um basic evaluation so this is where we're learning different techniques with like to find range of motion to manual muscle testing for strength things like that but we had a skills check on monday and i have to write a soap note for that skills check it's due tomorrow at midnight but i want to do it today i have a recorded lecture that i have to get done before 3 30 and it's 142 right now and it's an hour long and and then i have a test on friday that i have to study for and these are all the topics that are going to be on it so it's for thermal agents and soft tissues so those are all the topics that are going to be on it let's watch this lecture all right guys time to go to the gym i have my pre-workout i'm gonna meet up with my friend and let's go because i'm running late Okay, hi guys, this is Gabby, hi. and we are gonna take our pre-workout now. <laughs> Cheers. Oh. <laughs> do you know what air, or do you know the bottle pops? Yeah, that's what it tasted like. Holy crap, guys. I have never worked out that much in the gym in my life. I hit a new max for hip thrust. 
and I'm so happy, but I'm like burning. So I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna relax, chill out for a sec, eat, take my protein, and then start studying because the grind never stops. You gave me the feeling of the free. Hi guys, so I finally got back from the gym. Um, I took a nice break after, but it is time to go back to reality. I have to start studying because I have a test on Friday. I'm going to study all night. So it's currently 7.28 and I want to go to bed at like 11.30. So I'm just going to do schoolwork until then. percent of what you wanted to get through and get so tired that you literally just aren't retaining anything anymore so you weigh out the risks and benefits of like not studying and waiting for tomorrow and then it's always like a benefit to wait till tomorrow and then you get sad when you wonder why you have like 10 lectures to learn in one day and or is that just me asking for a friend i'm really getting tired at like 9 30 now but i'm gonna go to bed i'm gonna wake up early and study before class i have class at eight but i wake up at six all right guys so i'm on my way to campus it's 7 35 i woke up at 7 20 and just started going about my morning like normal like i had lecture at eight i have lab at eight so <laughs> so i'm not late i'm fine i'll get there on time but holy crap that was a close call also my shirt is covered in dog hair and I don't have a lint roller, so I just look gross. Oh, it's a bad day. All right, hi guys. I am leaving campus. Kylie's here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, so lab was good. We had Jerry's lab today, or thermal agents. I think the class is called. So basically we got a couple cases and it was like, what modality would you do for this patient? It was really fun and really laid back. So those ones are like actually really nice to go to because they don't scare me at all. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go home. We have a soap note to write. Uh, we have to study for Jerry's test and then we have videos to watch for basic eval so we know what we're doing. Um, <laughs> that's our life. <laughs> so yes, bye guys. All right, guys, I'm at campus again. I'm with Kylie. I'm sitting on my trunk. <laughs> <laughs> but it's really beautiful out today. All right, guys, it's not my day, but it's okay. My makeup's everywhere. But anyway, so I waited till last day to study again. Oops. But I am learning about ultrasound right now. I'm. This is the third PowerPoint. I'm reviewing this one, and then it's going to be okay. Gee. Hi guys, I'm back. So I've been studying all day. I had lecture. My boyfriend just, I got Chick-fil-A with him. And now I'm back home. It's currently 6.55 and I really need to study for my test tomorrow. It's at one. So basically I'm writing all the lectures out. I'm gonna go through them all five times and then I'm going to bed. All right guys, it's exam time. I gotta study a lot. All right guys, it's 12.52. It's time to go to my test. My test is at 1.30. All right, let's take this thing. All right, guys, it's over. I don't know if I did well on this one. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I could see me passing. I could see me marginally passing, and I could see me failing it because I just like didn't know a lot of like. There's some questions I just literally didn't know. There's probably about three of those. Ooh, hopefully I passed. All right, guys, this is the end of the vlog. I am done my test. Next week, I have a skills check on Monday, a practical on Thursday, and a quiz on Tuesday. So I'll be vlogging again next week because this is my life. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be back next week. Bye, guys.